You are born and raised in Staten Island? Born and raised. Born and raised. Still there. Okay. Technically, uh, I am not a native Staten Islander. I was born in Brooklyn. Okay. And my parents, both New York City public school educators, as I mentioned, my dad taught in Port Richmond yes. High School. My mom taught in, Bro uh, in uh, Brooklyn for a long time, mostly um, in uh, kindergarten and things of that nature. When the Verrazano Bridge got built yeah. to span Brooklyn and Staten Island, that's when we moved. You were part of that migration. I was part of that migration in 1969. Yes, wow. Sir. Yes, sir. So, so, you know, one day in my obituary in the Staten Island Advance, I won't be called a Staten Island. Uh, I'll be called a Staten Island resident, not a native. I love that you claim it, though, because a oh, lot of yes. people don't claim it. <clears throat> Christina Aguilera, but whatever. But you know. is that, so, oh, she oh. lived there for a hot minute, Alyssa Milano. Like, I, We have a short list of people. St does Steven Seagal have like a place he there? Did. I think he did. You're right. I forgot about that. Oh, dude, you're, you have you no idea what you're about to trifle with here. That's all okay, I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, because I was a Staten Island advance, as the only way to put it. That's the local newspaper of Staten Island. Yeah. Uh, I was a staff writer there for three years, and I was also... What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but no way. Oh, yeah. As uh, was Colin Jost, my good buddy, too. Uh, Colin Jost. Yeah. Is, we, we both have history of the Staten Island they Advance. excellence, apparently. Right. Uh, except I, I, I deal with uh, real news, not fake news. <laughs> um, but I, I was also a summer intern there for two years. Wow. Oh, yeah. I spent my, I've, sp I've been all over that, that rock. Um, so uh, we decided to come up with a game here. What is what are we calling this, Chris Brockman? What do we got here? Uh, do, you, do you know your Staten Island? I said it's that's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So what is the construct here? Because by the way, I am new to this. I don't know right, what they go. have planned. Okay. So what do we I have? I have four questions. Okay. If there, if you are tied after four, we have a tiebreaker. Okay. So okay. you ask the question. So I'm going to ask a question. I want Sal to answer, but I want you, Rich. I want you to write it down. And then reveal your answer afterward. Okay. I had no idea. Okay. I needed, you know, I need, so paper works just fine, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, paper, I mean, I, I'm going to watch you write it down, and okay. then I trust you. I, if you could type it, it'd be my preference. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an excellent word processor from my advanced days, sir. Okay, it was word processing, right? That's, that's yes. how I wrote all my college essays. I had a, like a suitcase, like the it had a handle. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to bring it into the cafeteria from home and do it day of. Oh yeah, yeah. Jay Fowley, some game show music. Oh, we have ladies. game show music. I didn't know that. This okay. is, come on, this is a high end production. Okay, here, here we go. Our right, question number one: multiple choice. Okay. Besides being one of the five boroughs of New York City, Staten Island is also one of the five counties. What is the official county name? Uh, I've already written it down. Rich you... is writing it down. Here are your choices. A, is it Kings County? Can I just stop you there? I don't need the choices. They don't need the choices no. either. No. Oh. What I'm, is just the... I mean, yeah, I'm just what trying is to the answer? What is the answer, Sal? The answer would be C, Richmond. C, Richmond County. Yes. That's it. Uh, Richmond, right okay, there. Great. Was it C? Richmond Wait, County. Did you have it on the C? It was Excuse C. <laughs> it was C. It is Richmond C. County. By the way, my first bank book of my life was at the Richmond County Savings Bank. As was mine. Thank you so much. And I much. still have it. Look wow. at us yes. right here. Yeah. Look at us. Oh, my breakers. God. I couldn't have been more excited to see my, like, three cents of interest. <laughs> that was in there for my bar mitzvah money. It's fantastic. Yeah, they used to print it out. They used oh, to yeah, run it through the thing and print it, it out. Print yeah. it out. Yes, yes. I look at us. It. This is this, this is, is going to be tough. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm looking at a five-five tie. Here. Okay. Question number two is true or false? Yeah. True or false? True. That's the, all right. That the, is... the outer bridge crossing, which is the southernmost bridge in New York State, yes, is sir. named after George Outerbridge. True or false? True. I say it's true as well. It is true. Most people think that it was named because of its location, but no, it was no. really named after Eugenius H. Outerbridge, the first chairman of the Port Authority of New York. It is true, and he also owes me $20. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, owes, if he, he owes me $20 every time I cross that goddamn bridge. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> he owes me $20 times a million. Number of times I would cross that bridge to go to the movie theater in Sarahville, New Jersey. Oh, Remember that? On. That was the first yeah. multiplex Amboy, of my life. The Amboy. The Amboy. Look yeah. at you. That was... That's maybe where I saw Love at First Bite. <laughs> yes. I saw, you know, okay. What did you, so you see at that? I saw so many things there, but when we finally got ours, yeah. like it was the, the when we finally got our multi one, yes. the first thing I saw there, I, I saw two. I snuck into one. I saw No Holds Barred with Hulk nice. Hogan. Oh, and I think no I snuck into barred. Red Heat um, after that. With, 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 uh, Dude, this is, this keep is going. Great. This keep is going. Great. Yeah, yeah. This is great. We're toe to toe right now. This is a heavyweight fight right Question now. Question number three, also true or false? Yes. 
The Game of Thrones map of Westeros is based on Staten Island. You want to go? Are you going to write anything down? Oh, right. Is that sure? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust you, but I'm just... I, I believe that's true. That's false. Rich Eisen. Sorry, it is true. No. George R.R. R. Martin grew up in Bayonne, New Jersey, and said that when he was young, he'd look out at the island and wondered what exotic mysteries and workers lurked on that island. By the way, he's full of crap. So when he finally started <laughs> writing Game of Thrones, he used Staten Island's shape as the inspiration False. for Westeros. Even, even he knows. It's, even he doesn't, he doesn't know the answer to that. Okay, keep going. He's I'm the exotic thing that existed over there. Get out of here. Question number four, Rich. You're going to need this to force a tiebreak. Okay. I believe in you, Rich. Name this famous Staten Islander. He played tight end at Wagner College before being drafted in the 18th round of the 1965 NFL Draft by the Minnesota Vikings. After playing for six NFL seasons, he pursued a career in coaching and eventually became an NFL head coach with the Eagles and Jets. No, oh, please. Sal, do you know this famous? I, I feel like I 1 million percent should, but I'm, I'm feeling a little bit stumped. Oh, no. Yeah. I know it. Rich. I I don't like this man at all. <laughs> His name is Rich Kotite. His oh, name, Rich Kotite. Oh, sure. His name is Rich Kotite. That oh, is my correct. God. We go to a tiebreak. Wow. Yeah. Rich Kotite. Finally, Kotite. Rich Kotite comes through for me. <laughs> it took four freaking decades. <laughs> Finally worth a damn. I forgot all about Kotite. My bad. We, we, Bobby Cannavale once came up with this line that, you know, he called the Jets Kotite. The, the, it was the Jets were bad, but not as w bad as that year. Those years that he says so he says they're not that co tidy bad. Okay. And I thought we came up with like that new jingle. You're not fully bad unless you're co tidy bad. Co tidy bad. Okay, we got here we go. All right, I'm actually happy. Here we go. I'm actually happy. We really I'm, wanted the fifth one. Yeah. We don't want this to end. No, we want this to be exciting. Come Fantastic. on. Fantastic. We go to the tie break. You both went to school in Staten Island. That's correct. Can confirm. <laughs> what is a school special? Multiple choice. I have some options if you'd like them. Sure. Is it A, a wedgie? Is it B, a beatdown delivered by a group of boys after school? Is it C, a popular this deli sandwich? This has nothing sandwich? to do with Staten Island. Is it D, marijuana that is sold on school grounds? What, just, what did you say, C? I'm sorry. It's a deli a, sandwich. A popular deli sandwich. But this has nothing to do with Staten Island. Correct? This is not specific to Staten Island. I believe it is. I mean, our research showed that this is specific to Staten Island. You want to go first here? I'll write it down here. Absolutely. Sal, your answer? Uh, I have purchased many a school special, and it is a bagel. It's a sandwich, actually. Correct, Rich. It's a $1 bagel with cheese. I, I had never heard of it before. I wrote down D because I didn't do this in, in high school. I figured the that's why I was is, completely, yeah. I thought that was completely uh, I, I without knowledge. I don't feel like knowledge. this is a clean win, actually. D. The answer I don't feel is like C, it's... a popular deli sandwich offered widely in the 80s and 90s, Where? consisting of Where? a bagel with one slice of ham and one slice of cheese. I mean, and I'm, the Jew. I'm the Jew here. For I mean, a dollar what the hell? less. <laughs> dollar or less, yeah. I do feel I don't like this win, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I don't like it. I just feel that that was way more. Uh, yeah, it's not Staten Island related. Subjective. Yeah, thank you, oh, yeah. Sal. I'm happy to tie with you and come back for a tiebreaker. Ladies then. and gentlemen, <laughs> yeah. Look at Sal. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to like this, Rich. Not like this. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> this that is was like the Deflate Gate. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yes, that was a that was a that was your ball deflation scheme <laughs> to uh, to I'm pull off the signals caper. over here. I like it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.